Hello everybody, it's Lou. We're going to try another David Cook song called Permanent. And honestly, I should probably stay away from this song because it is a little bit complicated, but um, let's try it anyway. Um, the chords we're going to do, we're going to do an F bar chord. So you want to cover all the strings on the first fret, the index finger. Okay, I'm trying to get where you can see. Then you want to go second fret, middle finger, third string up, third fret, ring finger, fifth string, and third fret, fourth string with the pinky. And of course, that's our F bar chord. So let's try to get this camera adjusted. Okay, we're going to do a regular C chord, which is first fret, second string, index finger, second fret, fourth string, middle finger, third fret, fifth string with the ring finger. We're going to do a C add nine, which is going to be um, second fret, fourth string, middle finger, third fret, fifth string with the ring finger, and third fret, second string with the pinky. And of course, sometimes I do it with the other fingers. So it really depends on you. But that's a C add nine. Then we're going to do what they're calling an F major nine over A. And that's regular F major chord without the middle finger. So you got first fret, second string, and next finger. Then you got third fret, fourth string with the ring finger. Then a B flat sustain two. You want to cover strings five through one with the index finger uh, on the first fret. Then you want to go third fret, fourth string with the ring finger, and third fret, third string with the pinky. Then we're going to do a G minor, which is third fret, cover all the strings with the index finger, and fifth fret, go fifth string, ring finger, fifth fret, fourth string with the pinky. Okay, so third fret, cover all strings, index finger, fifth fret, fifth string, ring finger, fifth fret, fourth string, pinky. Okay, so what I'm going to do to do this video is I'm going to try to do um, a either or at the same time. So basically what that means is if you're going to do the intro, you can pick D minor, I mean you can strum D minor. C so add 9, F major over 9, uh, F major 9 over A, and a B sustained 2. Or we can pick this. This is where it gets tricky. So it changes, of course, the pattern when you're doing the picking. So first string, index finger, first fret, and third string up, second fret with the middle finger. This is for the D minor chord. So you're going to do four and one together, and then three, and then one again. But when you do one, you want to lift the index finger first, because you want to do an open first string. So four and one, three, open first string. So lift the index finger. Okay, four and one, three, open. So lift the index finger and pick string one, first string. Okay. For the C add 9 chord, you're going to take your index finger again, first string, first fret, and you're going to take your ring finger and go to the um, fifth string on the third fret, and you're going to pick five and one together, and then do three, lift your index finger, because you want to pick the first string open again, and pick one. So, okay, five and one, three, open first string. Okay, our F major 9 over A, just put your index finger on the 1st fret, 1st string, 5 and 1, 3, lift the index finger, and 1 again. Okay. Uh, now we're going to, for the B sustain 2 chord, we're going to do a B sustain 2, and we're going to do 5 and 1 together, 4, 2, 3. So the intro basically is going to be Okay, so that's two ways to play it. Either strum it with those chords or pick it. 
Now, for the next line of the song, you can either do B minor. Is this the moment where I look? C at nine. And to your eye, F major over F, F major nine over A. And then B sustain two. Or you can do the same thing we did before, the same picking pattern. Okay, for the next line, you can do the same thing. Forgive my B minor. Broken promise that you'll never see at nine. See me cry F major nine over A. Or B flat sustain two. And B flat sustain two. Okay? Or again. Okay, so at the end of this, um, where he says, and everything, it will surely change if I tell you I won't go today. If you're going to strum it, it's G minor, and everything it, and you kind of do that twice, because it goes, and everything it will surely change if I, D minor, tell you I won't Go away today, C chord. Or what you want to do is you want to do your G minor like this. You're going to go third fret. This is what I do anyway. Third fret, sixth string with the middle finger, and third fret, third string with the ring finger. And then I take the index finger and I put it on the second fret, third string. Because you're going to pick strings six and three, and then four, lift the ring finger, and do three again. So six, three, four, lift the in ring finger and do three again. So you've got, and you do it twice. Okay, then you do your D minor, and you do a regular D minor chord, and you do four and one, two, lift the index finger and do one again, and then two again. So four and one, Three is what I probably should have said. Three. Open first string. And then two. So. And that's for the D minor. So four and one. Three. Open one. The P uh, index finger. And two. And this time you're playing it as a regular D minor chord. Where before we didn't use this finger. Make sure you have the D minor. Okay, so. Okay, then basically, um, you're going to just strum a C chord. And then it says to do, and this kind of is interesting to me because I don't know if it actually fits into the song, but this is what it said to do. Go to the fourth string, put your, um, and you're going to pick. Fourth string, third fret once. Then you're going to pick. Okay, make sure I'm in the right spot. Yeah, right there. So fourth string, third fret with the ring finger. Then you're going to pick the open third string. And then you're going to put your middle finger on the third string, second fret, and pick it once. So open, so again. 3rd fret, 4th string, open 3rd string, middle finger on the 2nd fret, 3rd string. Okay, so... Alright, so let me let you hear that part of the song.
Okay, so here's where things change a little bit. When you, um, will you think that you're all alone when there's no one there to hold you? That's actually strummed, and that's going to be your F bar chord. Will you think that you're all alone, your C chord, when no one is there? That's your F major nine over A. Um, I have to scroll over here to hold your hand. That's going to be after the word hand, uh, B flat sustain two. Okay, and then you strum the next line, which is F chord, and all you know seems so far away. That's your C chord, and everything is temporary. That's your F major nine, and then it rests your head. That's your B flat. Um, after the word head, B flat sustain two. Okay, so it's all alone when no one's there to hold your hand. And all you know seems so far away, and everything is temporary. Rest your head. Okay, then he says, I'm permanent. And you play B sustain two again, so it's on permanent. The way he sings it. Okay, now after the word permanent, you do your D minor. So you add nine, F major nine over A, and B flat sustain two. Or you pick um, the same pattern we did before, which is. D minor without the uh, ring finger, four and one, three open one. She had nine, um, where you have the index finger first string and first fret, and your ring finger fifth string third fret. Five and one, three open first string. Okay, the F major nine over A. Just your index finger on the first string, five and one, three, open first string. B sustain two, five and one, three, two, I mean four, two, three. So five and one, four, two, three. So that's. And we're going to run out of time on this video, so this doesn't have to be done in parts. But anyway, I know he's living in hell every single day. You can either do D minor, nope, D minor. I know he's living in hell, C at nine. Every single day, after the word day, you do the F major nine over A and the B sustained two. Or you can do D minor, C at nine. And then pick the F major nine over A, um, first string, index finger, first fret, do five and one, three, open one. And then on your B sustain two, it's a little bit different, do five and one together, and then four, two. So you would be, I know he's living in hell. Do it again. I know he's living in hell every single day. Okay. And then, and that's pretty much as far as I can get on this video because I'm out of time. So I tried to rest that last little part. We'll we'll go over that again in the second and part two. Okay? Because um, I rushed that a little bit and made a couple mistakes. But take care, and I'll try to get part two up pretty quick here.